Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. I'm a little bit late on this one. Um, I'm literally five days late in fact, so you know, I hope you're not too mad at me But of course I am going to be talking about the new creators.tf update that the guys over at creators.tf just introduced Exclusively to their service so you guys may remember uh, This video where I unbox some of their exclusive cases and essentially how it works is they add new content new maps new modes new weapons like everything you can imagine uh, to Team Fortress 2, but you can only use them on their servers. So, essentially, everything Valve should be doing to Team Fortress 2, Creators.tf have taken upon themselves to do it themselves on Creators.tf servers. So, they actually released a Half-Life related update, was the Hazardous Environments update, was the specific name of it. And today, we're just going to be taking a look through the update, looking at what they added, maybe taking a look at it in-game. And, um, yeah, so, without further ado, I mean, we could just get straight into it. So, eight April the 10th, 2020. It is now April the 15th, 2020. So, yeah, sorry about that one. But as you can see, it reads as follows. An update for Creators TF servers was released. Changes will automatically apply after a map change. Major changes include enabled hazardous environment event on every creators.tf server, added three new community made maps to the rotation. So these are just things like from the workshop or people from the team have made. Uh, so there's a map called Slaughter, a King of the Hill map. There's a map called Spillway, which is a King of the Hill map, and a map called Glassworks, which is a control point map. They added four new weapons, one of which being the Crate Smasher, which is an all-class melee reskin. Now, to my knowledge, I think that's a crowbar, um, which I actually hypothesized being added into the game a week or two ago. So it's sick to see that they've actually added that as like a, a pretty machete type thing, where it's like an all-class melee. The Gamma Gazer, which is a secondary exclusively for the Engineer, it damage removes sappers, 100% uh, damage bonus, requires 40 metal per shot to destroy the sapper, a 350% fire and speed slow, 50% uh, clip size, and 76% secondary ammo on wearer. So it's, I guess it's a secondary exclusively for removing sappers at long range. Maybe your sentry gets sapped and you're sat like on the other side of the map or like across a choke point or something. You can easily remove it by shooting the gamma gazer at it. However, there is like a severe lack of ammo, clip size, everything like that. Up next was the thumper, which is a new weapon that was added for the soldier, the pyro, the heavy, and the engineer. Of course, the common theme between all of those classes is that a shotgun. It's a shotgun reskin. It has 130% damage bonus, so it does massive damage, a 30% bigger clip size, a 50% more max ammo, 15% more accurate, 20% slower firing speed and minus 50% bullets on shot, 13% slower reload time, and the weapon deploys 15% slower. So essentially what I'm gathering from this, it's essentially a really slow firing shotgun that fires out like half a clip at a time. So if you miss with it, you're screwed pretty much, but if you hit with it, you're, you're gonna do massive damage. So it's like high risk, high reward type shotgun. It does sound a little bit OP with that plus 130% damage bonus, but like, you gotta weigh it up. I don't think it's too overpowered. Uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see how this works in-game. And I forgot to mention that if you actually want to use these weapons in-game, the only way you can unlock them is through completing specific contracts uh, allocated to that weapon. So, um, yeah, the last weapon was the Hypodermic Injector, which was a melee weapon for the medic. You collect blood from your enemies by hurting them and heal your teammates by transferring blood to them. So, it's essentially like Leech Seed in Pokemon, if that makes sense. You hit an enemy with the uh, Hypodermic Injector and inject that as health to your teammates. And it can store up to 300 health points. It's, it's an interesting concept because I can't imagine a lot of scenarios in my head where a medic can melee someone and then transfer that to their teammate without getting killed. I feel like if you try and melee someone as the medic, more time you're probably going to die. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works in practicality. Yeah, so it says heals your teammate by hitting them with this weapon, 10% faster firing speed and 20% damage penalty. So you don't even do much damage with it. Uh, as it added the hazardous environments keyless cosmetic crate, so they've added more cosmetics that can only be worn on these servers. We will take a look at the crate, and if you want to know how to open the crates, it's completely free. Uh, the only way you can get the cosmetics and open the crates, etc., is by playing the game, earning coins through playing the game, completing contracts, etc., and then with those Manco coins, you can open the crate. Added 29 new types of paintbrushes. Uh, color codes and names are identical to the- so they've just added paints for cosmetics, but as opposed to 
uh, cooling than paint cans, they're paint brushes. So that's pretty interesting. So if you get a cosmetic that's paintable, you can paint it now, which is pretty cool. Community Contractor has been updated and redesigned. Introduce Hazardous Environments campaign. Um, creators campaign is now added. And Contractor now has sound. Special parts of the websites now have tooltips. Website caching has improved. Improved service performance. Uh, economy connections. Just like other, other sort of miscellaneous stuff. So we'll head over to the store now. And here is the Hazardous Environments collection. So as you can see, this is... Uh, 120 coins or dollars uh, to open these things and yeah essentially you get these by um, playing the game however you can buy the cosmetics individually if you'd rather not take the chance and uh, spend that little bit extra so inside we have the free main which is uh, I assume like a Gordon Freeman you know what? I've never played Half-Life so I'm not gonna pretend what I know about however I know that's a head crab uh, it's an all-class hat called the bread crab which is really sick it's like a, a mixture of the head crab and how it sits on the head um but it's the bread from team fortress which is pretty cool we have the benefactors bowl which is a pyro cosmetic um we have the family doctor which is a medic cosmetic a ridiculous tie which is a medic cosmetic as well the specialist which is a medic we've got a full medic set there actually and i'm assuming this is a full engineer set for gordon freeman right so, um, yeah, two full cosmetic sets, which is pretty cool if you're a Half-Life fan. I imagine these cosmetics are great for you um, to sort of, like, you know, just pay some homage to one of your favourite video games. And this is a great way to do so. Make a TF2 loadout with it. But we're going to take a look at the contracts in game now. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So to view the contracts, you essentially have to apply the contracts you want to be active on the website, right? So you go onto the site and you can see the creators ones. There's community maps, official maps, offense and all that. So we go into creators and assist or kill an enemy on creators.tf server. So that's essentially like the main one on the actual contractor i think um and then there's obviously the bonus objectives as well and for that you get 250 mango coins which is enough for two crates i think however if you back out of the creators tab and go into hazardous environments here are all the new ones so for example you get the crate smasher the all-class melee by doing this assist or kill during event um so yeah it's just the same sort of thing as you can imagine um to get the melee hyperdermic injector you have to heal teammates so it's just sort of like contracts that are relevant they're not too much of a grind um really and then you can earn things like uh, the cases as well there uh to get the thumper which is the shotgun you have to kill an enemy with the stock shotgun um so these really aren't too hard they're out of like 100 points which i think you get is it two points per kill? I could be wrong about that, but it's really not too much of a grind. And I definitely think it could be worth it. As you can see, there is the Gamma Gazer, the Sapper Remover um, pistol. And there is how it looks as well. So overall, I'm really happy with this. I feel like this is a great grind for people who maybe have loads of free time during this sort of time period. And... And maybe want to grind Team Fortress 2, but the actual game isn't providing any sort of incentive to do that. This is a great way you can use some new community-made weapons and play on community-made maps without Valve having to lift a finger. So, uh, the link to creators.tf will be down below. If you want to see me actually grind out these contracts, let me know. That could make a fun, like, sort of mini-series. But, uh, yeah. Actually, I should probably show you how to make sure that the contracts are enabled in-game. Because I can guarantee there's going to be a comment asking me to show it or saying that the contracts aren't working. Alright, so you go onto the Hazardous Environments tab, or whatever tab you want to use the contract on, click the contract you want to apply, just literally click Activate on it. And uh, this has activated the this has activated the point insertion challenge, and literally you just want to remember the name of your contract to make sure that it's applied in game, right? So what you need to do then is find a server, and depending on where you're based, whether that's I mean they've got servers pretty much all over the globe. So I'm just going to join a Europe one because I'm from England. So uh, yeah, I'm going to join a server on one of these new maps, and I'll show you where to go from there. Now I'm actually in the game. Uh, you can see on the right hand side of the screen it says points insertion, and every time I get a kill in this mode it will of course contribute towards my contract and you can check your progress on the contract uh, on the website unfortunately you can't go on the pause menu open the contract because that's the main uh, tf2 ones for casual but uh yeah that is just like a super quick guide on how to do it and as you can see i've got my creators.tf exclusive cosmetics there that you can't actually get in normal tf2 servers so uh yeah that is just a super quick tutorial on how to put the contracts on that's just about it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. And if you want to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe. Thanks again very much for watching, guys, and peace.
she only call me drunk, geeking off for free and these. Top, 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 it like she mug, poison sting to see me bleed. Keep, keep, keep in my gut, I'm on my heart like CDG. Just, just, just cause you been.